Let's find the molar mass for acetone. So this is the chemical structure, the structural formula for acetone, three carbons, six hydrogens, and then one oxygen. So we could write the molecular formula like this, although sometimes you'll see it written like this because we have these two methyl groups. That's right here. And here's our carbon with the double bonded oxygen. So either way is fine. This way gives us a little more information. Let's use this one to find the molar mass for acetone. So on the periodic table to find the molar mass, we find the atomic mass for carbon, that's 12.01. And we have three carbon atoms. So we multiply that by three plus hydrogen, 1.01. .01, and we have six of those. And then oxygen right here, 16.00 units or grams per mole for each of these. But let's write that at the end. So we do the multiplication for each of these. We add those numbers together. We end up with 58.09, and the units are grams per mole. What that means is that I have one mole of acetone. It's going to be 58.09 grams. Or if I had 58.09 grams of acetone, that would be one mole. This is Dr. B with the molar mass for C3H6O acetone. Thanks for watching.